Hey you guys and welcome to another channel teaching. Um, I am Rena Wells and I'm a genuine twin flame. I'm also a medicine woman. I work with plant medicines like ayahuasca, psilocybin, um, and I run ayahuasca retreats in Mexico, but because of COVID, it <laughs> hasn't gotten off the ground yet. Um, but if you would like more information about all of that or you'd like to work closer with me, I'm hoping to be running some ceremonies up here in Canada this summer as soon as things open up. Please uh, just take a look down below. You can send me an email and welcome to my channel. Okay, guys, I'm going to just jump right in and let's talk about divine counterparts and different kinds of relationships. Spirit is, I don't even know what this topic is, but spirit basically brought me um, to just, to talk, basically told me to talk about, um, you know, the, the massive difference between twin flames, higher level soulmate connections, whose spirit made you for, and how it's gotten quite out of hand in our new age community. And I'm going to be honest with my journey as well. I knew that I was a twin from a very little girl. I knew of my person. I knew of him. I saw him when I was little through visions, um, not knowing this at all, obviously. Um, also knowing his name and all of that through um, just by spirit guiding me when I was a really small child. And I've been through everyone in the Twin Flame community and just based on my own experience, remember, take these things with a grain of salt. You are your best guru. You are your best teacher. You and your connection to source is your best direction. So take whatever I say uh, with a grain of salt as well. Um, I don't believe there are, and I'm just going to be blunt and say that I don't believe there are many twins that are actually in union. I believe the new age community has romanticized this. I've even gained, got coaching from other twin flames and they couldn't even understand <laughs> my abilities. And when that happens, you guys, you know, I've been to different psychics and things like that. I've had a friend that would recommend me to, you know, someone who she thought was amazing and they couldn't even read me. When that happens, you guys, people that can't read my energy, most people, um, have a lot of issues um, reading it and the reason for that and and it's not just because somebody has a very high light or a very dense light it's one or the, or the other usually you're in the new age community and you're becoming incestuous and playing in all of that power dynamics of giving and taking and and siphoning energies because let's be honest that's really what it is people in the new age community the mass majority of people that have not been on this healing journey for a very long time i've been on this i've been completely awakened to this journey this entire life i did not have an awakening you know i didn't just wake up five years ago and be like oh i'm awake it's like no i was born awake i have been dealing with spirits my entire life i have seen spirits my whole life I um, <laughs> I've just had this gift my entire life and even that being said um, I had the gift since I was little um, to be able to see divine truth and if you want to know more about me I'm not going to go into my history there is a video that I did about how I see energy and how I feel energy and I know there are others that are out there and so I wanted to talk about the twin flame community because everything has been romanticized I gained coaching through other twin flames and this was before I had actually physically met my twin I thought I was in a twin flame partnership and I wanted to bring this out because yes myself included everybody you know we go through this journey of the twin flame journey knowing that we have the one that we have somebody that spirit made us for all twin flames have this knowing now how we attach that knowing to the outside that's an that's another story because what i believe and i've done this as well and this is because i have done this you know i have attached my belief system to a certain person that this person is who spirit made me for because it's like oh like every time we meet somebody it's like oh my god is this the person oh my god is this the person oh my god is this the person and yes i did that ever since i ended my marriage you know um first i thought it was my ex-husband then i thought it was you know this other person that i dated then i thought it was you know 
it finally came to the point for me where I had to just say, screw this twin flame thing. I'm like over it. I'm not looking for my twin. I don't want this. And it was my twin that actually came to me and brought up the entire twin flame dynamic and who saw me as his counterpart. So, um, that being said, it completely shook my world. Now, it is a powerful connection. I'm not going to lie. And I can see why spirit led me down certain roads until I completely surrendered my love life to spirit. When I did that, spirit did bring the person that I'm meant to be with him into my life. Now, that being said, I'm not going to go too much into that. But what I am going to go into is now that I've gained the awareness, I've done the purification process. I'm completely surrounded. I'm in mission. I'm just focused on on me and spirit and my connection with spirit completely and whatever spirit brings into my life and that being said um i'm in a really completely surrendered place um things that are falling apart in my world yeah let it fall by see ya i don't have a real physical attachment any more to many 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 material things that most people would have like for instance your home my home was gone that was i sold that that downgrade everything's gone um i have downgraded my life very i've simplified that over the last five years and it's come to the point now where it's like if something bad happens it's like <laughs> is that the best you can do like okay whatever like it doesn't create the suffering anymore and so that being said spirit really wanted to guide me into talking about human love soulmate love and what those dynamics are in comparison to the twin flame journey now the twin flame journey is not for everybody i'm going to just say that it is not a romanticized ooh, let's have babies and build a family that is not a twin flame journey a twin flame journey is to heal humanity that is the first precipice point of a twin flame journey it is not because you are lonely it is not because you want to have a partner it is not because you want to build a life together those are little pieces of it the biggest aspect of the twin flame journey is mission first so if you do not see a mission with those that claim to have a twin flame journey a very clear mission okay like for instance my twin and i are ayahuasca shamans we are medicine people we have been shown by mother earth's master plant who we are together he and i both know who we are to each other he is not unawakened to our connection no we are not in in union and but he is completely aware of who we are together that being said i am aware of it too because he woke me up <laughs> um so that being said okay this whole aspect i want to dissolve a lot of these um issues you know those saying that my twins not awakened to this i'm going to say that's not a twin flame union and i'm only and i only believe that i have the right to say that because of the amount of darkness that i have healed in my life i have healed things that most people have not been able to heal okay um if we are staying at a surface if you have not thank you spirits bringing through if you have not had the amount of life experience you cannot know your twin until you have had a certain amount of life experience that you have lived okay or we will categorize and label those connections as that's my twin flame or that's my you know we get into this uh, attachment yes this is my person this is who i meant to be with that's only because of the initial connection as soon as we jump into relationship with these people these things start to unfold and we start to realize like where was that soul connection that happened that's how the basis of humanity has been having relationship right now on the planet but with your twin flame it's you don't actually have to yeah thank you spirit purge in the way and heal in the way that all these other relationships are healing and what i'm seeing in the twin flame dynamic is this whole scenario that we take each other deep we purge we bring up it's the light that brings up the the darkest things and that's what heals to a certain point but not while you are together that happens in complete separation and it's not actually in the same dynamic of as what happens with human connection so I'll, I'll, I'll let's let's bring this point down spirit wants to bring this point down so 
The generic statement in Twin Flame Connections is the love is so bright and so beautiful, it brings up everything to heal. And if you look at other Twin Flames that are in the community, they follow this dynamic, okay? I, I don't follow this with my twin. <laughs> and this is why I don't believe these people are really twins, okay? Um, there's this dynamic in the New Age community that says, we take, we bring up all of this person's stuff. It's such a beautiful light. And that is why they're acting out of their darkness. They're acting out of their shadow. To a certain point, that's correct with the twin flame, but it's not really, okay? There is never, and I hear these things. I watch TikTok and all this stuff, and I hear people screaming at their twin flame. No, you said that you, I just wanted space, and now you're doing this, and you're not listening to my boundaries. That's not a twin flame connection. That is not a twin flame connection. And no, I have not been in a relationship with my twin, but there is a depth that he and I share that there is no way. I, <laughs> and listen, you guys, I have no problems speaking my mind, okay? I have no problems being a tight ass. I have no problem speaking my truth and saying the brunt ass words, you're pissing me off, get out of my face. I have no problem saying that. Okay, I have no problem saying that with my twin. I second, I, I check myself. I'm like, oh, I can feel him. He's too soft. He's soft. I know this is where we're soft together. You know, there was one time that I, I snapped um, <laughs> when we first met, but it was just more of a firmness. Like, why are you in my room? Why didn't you go to your room? Um, kind of, uh, kind of thing. And, um, but it was never, it's never harsh. That's the harshest that it ever gets with your twin. So these people talking about toxic dynamics, it's bringing up his darkness. He's freaking out. He's gone to snort cocaine now, or he's, he's fucking all, or sorry, mind my language. He's screwing all these women or he's, that's not a twin flame. That's not your twin flame. Okay. Your twin flame protects you, even if they are a player. Because I can say that. Mine was a player. Okay. So they will protect you. They will keep you in a nice little bubble and, and try to build something on the side with you. Right. Without even acting like a player. You know, they won't treat you that way. My twin never treated me that way. We never were able to go deep. Whenever I try to go deep, he'd have a hyperventilation crying fit. And, and then we, I just like, okay, he's not ready to talk about our connection. And so I understand that there wasn't time for us and I love him to death. So if you're listening, I don't mean that in the worst way, but people need to hear this, right? People need to hear how real divine masculines are. They're sensitive. They're soft. They don't have this evil, um, manipulation thing going on. Okay. They just don't. So if you're involved in that kind of connection, that is not a twin flame connection, okay? And so Spirit is bringing this up that we see these twin flames like coming, you know, going into the pain together and healing it. Twin flames don't do that and twin flames do not heal that way, okay? I've healed with my twin. We have done ayahuasca ceremonies together. We have been in tandem and we were shown two ceremonies in a row. Ayahuasca showed us how he and I mirrored exactly like we could not even be beside each other because we were mirroring um, a lot of our own uncomfortableness but there was never anger towards each other there was never deflection towards each other there was never blame towards each other and there wasn't uncomfortable in the sense that I didn't want to be near him it was just that my issues were so much that I didn't want to give him any of that because I knew he could already feel it and I know he was the same way and so how twin flames work is that when the darkness comes up, we are so secure within ourselves and the growth that we're doing that we would never, ever, ever want to deflect that on our twin, especially. We could probably do that with other people in our family because we've grown up with them because they're soulmate connections. They don't feel us on the, in, on the inside the way that your twin feels you on the inside, okay? Because your twin is actually inside of you. They are the other piece of you, right? They are the, the divine complement to you. And so because you're feeling your twin flame, you would not want to subject that. You can't deflect that on them. You can't even say something mean to them because it hurts you. It actually hurt, literally hurts you on the inside. 
it kills you on the inside to say anything to hurt your twin because you know that you're feeling it as well that's a true twin flame connection so when i see these twins like oh i have to go through this and we're going through this now and that's because this person needs to level up no that is karmic soulmate stuff that is how humans learn to move from the outside in now this is how human connections work right we may have a soul connection but it's very much at the surface level of the ocean right it's very much where you know you're just swimming in the shallow in the shallow waters and you realize you have a soul connection with somebody now you then connect to other aspects of that person you connect to their energy of their soul and their spirit that's different twin flames don't connect on a soul to soul basis that way okay twin flames don't connect in the same way that soulmates connect in wow we have so much in common oh my god like i'm talking to you and there's so much more that we have in common that's finding out from the outside in okay what happens with twins the difference here the main difference here is that when twins start talking and getting to know each other they're already thinking it and feeling it and the other person says it <laughs> But that's the difference, okay? And then you have this weird, I remember my twin would stare at me like with these weird eyes, like, are you inside my head? It's like, yes, I am. <laughs> and same, vice versa. I would be like, huh, what? No, like I was just going to say that. You know, we were talking about at the fire of, you know, what's good over a fire, you know, and I, and the, this whole hot dog thing came up and I was thinking and he said it. I was like, no, what? So, and even with the shamans that I worked with, you know, they would, one, one of the shamans, their twin flames would, you know, think of a song that they wanted to play in ceremony and the other one would play it. That's twin flame connection. Okay. And, and so when twin flames are healing, you know, or, um, even getting to know each other, that's the difference. It's like, I'm already thinking it and you're saying it. It's, you can't miss that. You can't miss that. So people that are saying that, um, yes like this is i'm in a twin flame connection and only you know guys right only you know so i'm not saying what's right or wrong only you know i can't even tell if you're in a twin flame connection and nobody can tell if you're in a twin flame connection no reader can tell you that that is between you and god and your twin the three of y'all that's it okay that's the trinity nobody else is allowed in that that's a special in energy frequency nobody else can read that even other twin flames other twin flames can't read if you're a twin flame it's a different frequency because God created you and your twin with God at a certain frequency different from other twin flame frequencies okay and so the way that you have brought your union together or your connection together is going to be different but there are very similar similarities and this is what I spirit wanted me to talk about they're pulling me back into talking about human relationships and soulmate connections so you recognize you have a connection with someone it's definitely a soulmate connection you have gone underneath the surface of of the waters there you've hit a certain level of the subconscious because your souls have met in other lifetimes right whether that's a karmic soulmate or a divine soulmate or a high level soulmate whatever that is um and the deeper that you've gone in the depths with them the more you're going to have a stronger connection with them but also remember that when you are meeting them you are meeting soul to soul person to person god is not involved in that connection spirit has nothing to do that's the law of attraction that's your blueprint that's you know you calling in your the person that you want to you know you want a love partner you're putting it out there spirit brings you the next one in line according to your blueprint okay for lessons and for growth so that you know if you do have a twin flame that that's who you're meant to be with but the thing is with your with uh these connections spirit is bringing up that you notice that uh that initial meeting there's an attraction there's synchronicities it feels like it's divinely guided and yes it is because law of attraction when something manifests in your world you will feel that pull the pull with your twin is completely different completely different um when i felt my twin the and i could feel it in the earth okay the earth changed for me <laughs> um the energy the air changed uh 
so much change. It was not like an energy of what I've met other soulmate connections. I recently just got out of a soulmate connection as well. And even that, even as heightened and as beautiful as, you know, it first I thought it was, as it seemed, it wasn't, um, it wasn't deep. It was just a lot of that zaza zing again. And it's reiterated a lot for me to realize that, you know, with your twin, there is definitely a depth that you've met and merged and it's merging from the inside out and so for when union comes together it's when that kundalini has risen out from the original root chakra right up to the crown and all chakras are in full alignment right so what's happening with a lot of the twin flame community and this romanticism and human connection what's happening is is we're saying we're making these excuses my person is just they're just healing they're just and that might be the case that's fine but we need to realize thank you spirit is bringing up they want me to talk about the energy of it to start recognizing the energy in our lives because that's where we're moving to you guys we're moving into a mystical way of living we have to learn how to read these energies all of us are empaths although all of us have gifts okay so we have to start recognizing these different energy frequencies that come to us so right they want us to start looking at these soul connections and start to get very honest with ourselves did i make this into something that you know i want and if i did you know how is this person's vibration matching something else within me that i haven't been wanting to look at and spirit is saying to start taking those relationships and start recognizing where there is a mishap in your own lack so for instance for me you know uh, i had to get very serious about you know do i want to date or do i want to just really build up my business you know the dating takes away from my business so now it's just mission 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 and um that's where my path is taking me not all of you are going to be on that path but spirit is saying if you are pulled to be in relationship do it that different different connections are going to come towards you even if you have met your twin and you're in separation there are other soulmates that we can learn from there are other things that we need to uh, work through in our energy body to really know is that our twin or is there something more for me and so spirit is bringing this up in to start realizing all of our relationships okay and to start getting rid of the labels let's just get rid of the entire label twin flame let's start looking at human relationships first let's start looking at how we actually view love how do you view love how are you mirroring you know the love that maybe what your parents had or what you grew up in and yeah thank you spirit thank you spirit spirit is saying and about this list that we have i know this is part of the whole manifestation of things that we can make a look. guys i've had so many lists okay and i've manifested partners that hit everything off i think i've had like five lists and i've had five different partners that hit every single one of those those lists you are powerful beings okay if you make a list of your soulmate you will meet that person but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the person that god made you for okay because to meet your twin and to meet a very high person that god wants you for it's about getting closer to god and to spirit it's not about putting your intentions out into the material world and having that come back right because you have to get into relationship with spirit and you have to surrender your life to spirit and you have to surrender your love life to spirit and say okay i don't know who's good for me you know what i want spirit you've seen my whole path and that's going right to father creator energy great spirit so you know what i have what i want what i have i give that to you but where a lot of people are getting stuck is in this list let's and it's a good place to start you guys to start learning about your co-creative abilities it completely is if you are in a place to make a list do so i'm not saying that it's a wrong thing we're all in a different process right 
make a list what you want to manifest and make a list more based on the vibrations that you want to manifest in your life and what you want to experience what you want to feel and start advocating and creating that in your life and i want to say advocate for it that means like you're actually standing by your belief systems of the vibration that you actually want to create and that you are allowing other things to fall away because law of vacuum states that when you let go, you are creating more space for spirit to fill that in. Spirit will always fill things in for you, right? We have, um, if you look at the beach and you're walking along the beach, if you were to dig a hole in the middle of the beach, eventually the water will rise up and, and fill that in. There's something with the purification process that when you let go you are allowing law of vacuum to come in and to fill you in and to fill that up and so twin flame or not twin flame forget the labels if you want to manifest love and you are at a point that you want to co-create that with spirit make your list make the list that you desire you will get those those aspects but keep in mind that spirit is smart right spirit is all knowing right spirit will bring you somebody that will match your list but will if it's a soulmate that's not here for a long time but that will activate you to get you into a more divine connection okay when i see things like twin flame schools and all this stuff and they're like we can we can bring you your twin flame no there's a healing process that happens you can't jump right to the depths of your subconscious without some deep work okay um <laughs> and i've been doing this healing work for many many years okay i have dealt with so much dark dark things my whole life that you know you you just can't you manifest based on the frequency that you are right so if you are a certain frequency and you're going to these people who say i can bring your twin flame i can bring your twin flame if you are like five five soulmate contracts away from your twin flame because they have massive healing for you that's going to heal all your abuse from your childhood or whatever you've gone through okay you're going to have to go, you, you may be able to skip one or two with those lessons, but you're going to have to learn those lessons before spirit really brings you who you were made for. And so a lot of these people saying, I bring you your twin, are, manage, are manifesting and attracting a partner that's not actually their person that God made them for. It's another lesson. It's another aspect that they need to go deeper within themselves into their pain and their suffering of love and how we love okay and so this is why the discernment of energy is so important because spirit is saying we can't look at the physical stimulus with the people that we are being attracted to yeah it's nice okay yeah it's nice but that will never be who god made you for god will never give you the person that you're made for to match your your ego desires of what turns you on sexually it's not going to be about that it's going to be about energy you guys it's not going to be about um the way a person looks or the job the person has or the mental intelligence no your person will have things that will complement you but it won't be of you know like for me for instance i dated uh an astronaut who was a professor at the university of um was it McGill or was it McMaster? McMaster, sorry. Brilliant, brilliant man. I thought, oh my God, I have high intelligence. I love that. Totally on my list, right? Um, I'm like, I talk quantum physics and I can do all of this. No, it all looks good on paper, you guys. <laughs> but when the energy hits, it's like, oh, damn, my life. No, it doesn't. And that's the problem that we see in humanity. We're constantly seeking outside, outside, outside. This person matches. Yes, I made my list. Now this person matches. It's never going to fill you to the depths of your soul because you have not surrendered your love life to spirit. That's the key here, you guys. If you want who God really has made you for, you have to surrender your love life and go through the purification process to get to know God one-on-one -on -one very deeply before God will bring you that person. That's just how it is okay you have to be one with spirit you really do you have to be one with spirit to know spirit before spirit can bring you that person because you 
will feel Thank you. Spirit is saying we can, let's talk about this. There are two aspects of spirit that are divided as yin yang balance as well. We have the great spirit of the cosmos, which is the father energy. And we have the great spirit of the earth, which is the womb of the mother. So we have mother and father. They balance each other out. We have the sun and the moon, right? So everything is open balance. And so spirit is saying this is the balance that when you as a divine feminine are with your divine masculine, how you know God is how you will know your person, is how you will know your twin. You will feel God through your twin. You will feel God come into the vessel of your twin, okay? Very much as my twin has stated that I'm very much like Mama Ayahuasca, you know? We complement each other so well. It's like the Mother Earth. And so he sees the Earth in me and the feminine energy. That is high potency twin flame stuff right there, okay? You have to be able to merge and be one with God in order to merge with your twin. That's that's just how it is. It's such a sacred holiness. So that's a small amount of people. I don't see the holiness. I just don't see the holiness, you guys, in the New Age community, okay? And so saying that, if you want who God made you for, it's a complete surrender. If you're not ready to completely surrender your entire life, that's a big step, you guys. That's a big step. Start working on, okay, how can I co-create with spirit in the sense of, you know, my checklist of what I want vibrationally. Let's get away from a list of, you know, brown hair, brown eyes, mocha skin good job make six figures has a house in you know in italy but also has a house in you know has a cottage in northern wherever whatever whatever you get my drift right forget the specifics what is the vibration create a list that says i want to i want to feel peace every day i want to feel calm you know, a lot of these human connections that come in that we mistake for soulmate connections are hot and heavy and are very exciting at the beginning. And it, it can feel wild and amazing. Trust me. I understand that <laughs> completely. But that type of connection will always end in suffering because it is very much the darker forces and the excitement that pulls you first, that mimics the light that pulls you in to keep working on it and then it sacrifices your good heart towards something that could be very toxic so be very aware of what magnetism feels like and magnetism with spirit when it's right from god <laughs> you, you there's zero doubt if you have doubt i would question the connection if you have doubt i would question the connection now even with my own twin flame there was doubt. I, I did doubt after we we um, first met. I did date after that. Actually, I started dating right away after I met him. Um, <laughs> I didn't tell him that, but I was dating. Um, but I was like, I'm like, nah, that can't be that. Can't. But it was my mind that was doubting it. But you know what brought me back to it? There will always be something with your twin flame, Spirit is saying. The, the, the merging point, right? always brought me back to him and no matter how much time has passes it brings me back to that moment with him in his arms outside with ayahuasca it brings me back to that moment every single time i cannot get it out of my head i have tried because it was the divine union it was with spirit and no matter who i've been with since then it brings me right back to that right now, the reason for that, that's when you know it's a real sacred connection. It is not, um, and I'm not saying this in the sense some people do have, spirit is bringing up, some people do have um, attachment issues where they are obsessed or possessive. This is not an obsessed, possessive type of connection. It is not toxic, okay? I am the most detached person on this planet. I can walk away. I've walked away from my family. I walked away from anybody. I can walk away from anybody. No problem. And I know it's a trauma response, guys, okay? But that being said, I went through all of that because of the intensity of this connection that when I couldn't walk away from this connection and from him, I knew it was my person for sure because... <laughs> 
Honestly, I've gone through so many relationships, I've been able to heal them, you know, and you will know that. Now, if you have a type, and you will know this, if you have a type of attached type of personality or a possessive or obsessive, and you have obsessed over people before, this may be an indication to go within to see where you aren't loving yourself in that aspect. If that's the case, heal that, heal that. If you feel that and you keep getting pulled back to this person and so much time has gone by, most definitely it is probably a twin flame connection. Now, that's just, that's not to say that there are people out there that do get attached to one person believing and making a story up and saying that is my person and have gone 50 years or 40 years or whatever long down the road still believing that's their person. They can't move on from that person, you know. Um, there is an aspect that we have to surrender a piece of us that has that form of attachment because even with your twin flame you're still able to live a very healthy life without them okay because even where i'm at in my journey right now i don't i think of them every day but i don't have this suffering or this crying or this oh i miss you so much or or this desire to even you know fill that with somebody else or to you know it's not about that it's about making myself happy um and that doesn't come from another person that comes from my creative gifts so this is the aspect of twin flame connection that you want to get to right it's not of a place of attachment i need that person i desire that person i'm so in suffering with this person it's at a place where it's like oh, i love you bye i love you but see ya go live your life be happy if I trust God enough to know that if it's meant to be, then it'll, it'll happen and to be completely fulfilled that way. If there's an aspect that you're still suffering and you can't let go, that means that there must be some type of possession or obsession or something of an attached personality that's happening that you have not healed. And that's okay, you guys. We've all gone through that, myself included. I've had massive attachment issues in my life. I haven't always been able to completely walk away from people, okay? But I knew, I mean, it's coming up to three years since I've met him, that, yeah, it's good. he'll be a person that I think of and send love to every single day of my life. But it's not suffering, and it's not like I need you. I want you, but I don't need you. I choose you, but I don't need you. There's a difference, you know? And even saying that, in still being open to love, right? So Spirit wanted me, and I don't even know what I'm talking about, so Spirit wanted me to bring this through today to just kind of talk about the differences here of, you know, divine counterparts, attachment, um, and what that those discerning energies really look like. We have to look at our relationships, and here's a place to start this, you guys, to start discerning vibration, okay? You need to look at where your patterns are currently surfacing in your life in all of your relationships with your children, your parents, your siblings, your friends, your co-workers, your, your soulmate connections, your love life, okay? And you need to somewhat sit there and match the vibrations out in your world and to see where those things match. You may even with your twin, if you believe you are a twin and you have a twin, that you um, have similarities um there's going to be similarities in vibration there as well. For instance, I know um, certain family members very much. My twin matches a lot of the men in my family. Um, all of the men in my family. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, that I've had to go in and learn how to heal those aspects within myself with the men in my family. Right? So, also with, with them for my children right with my children so there are many different things to start looking at in regards to patterns and vibration in your life now as you're looking at the patterns and the vibrations in your life and how they're playing out okay it's also to then look at what you want to create in your life and this is vibrationally not about a person and not about how things are actually going to work out like i'm going to go move to california and build a house and that's just how it is like that's just not a thing like i'm not saying to put those details in if you wish to that's fine but remember that this is spirit speaks in vibration not in details so the best way is to create you know I want 
to be uh, peaceful and happy. I want someone to snuggle with. I want the vibration of love. I want harmony. I want music. I want, you know, whatever that looks like in your life and to create your list that way. And the next thing is to start becoming your list. Become the list that you're putting out there because you're not going to attract it until you become it, right? The next thing is also to be patient. God loves a patient heart, let me tell you. It drives me a little nuts, but the patience is actually, once you get used to it, is a way to just relax. You come into a place of such a deep surrender place that you're now actually at a place where you're like, oh, I can actually relax and not worry about this. I don't have to pay this bill right now or I don't have to like find a babysitter right now. Oh, I can actually relax even though before I would worry about that or I would create drama around that or I would need, because that's another aspect of control, right? When you completely come into a place of surrender, and this is something to keep practicing is this surrender piece, is surrender, surrender, surrender so that spirit can come in to to mend everything together and to allow spirit to just you know that you can sit and just chill out while spirit does that work because you know the vibration that you are creating is what you want to experience so just be aware of that so that when a new soulmate does come in you will feel the vibrations but also to observe don't get too swept away and just Observe yourself on the inside of how deep this person can actually meet you. Because if it's not a twin flame connection, if it's a soulmate, that's fine. But you will start to notice as you are talking, the deeper that you can go. Can I let this person in? Can I open this door of vulnerability? Now, can I open this door of vulnerability? If this person cannot meet you to certain depths in your vulnerability and they can't match you there, that is a that is something to that's not something to work on you guys that's a message from spirit saying that person can't meet you there and if you still know that you can go a lot deeper that means that that's that's that person's threshold there's no point in working on that you know what that's going to create more suffering because then our habits and our patterns come in it's like oh but i've met them so deep and they're such a good person and they're so nice and but if it <laughs> you know Maybe if I wait and, and maybe if we do medicine together or maybe if, you know, I help this person or maybe if we do meditation together or maybe if we, you know, talk it out, they can go deeper. No, this is, this is, and if, if you're really looking for who God made you for, you will not want to be in this type of situation anymore. If you do believe that you can work it out with this person, I'm not saying not to do that. Okay, do it. Okay, if you believe this person can go deeper and can meet you in those places, do it. I, I'm honestly believing that they won't because this is why there's so many divorces on this planet. This is why so many people have problems in their relationships because we become complacent and we become compromising to our own needs because we realize, well, that person can only meet me here and now they can only meet me here, here, and here. So, okay, so I have to now, <coughs> excuse me, adjust myself to meet this person at this level mentally but emotionally here in this area do you see what i mean like some people can function like that if you are sold that you're ready and you can do that kind of work that's fine but i doubt that you'd even be listening to this right now um most people listening to this have done that and don't want to compromise themselves anymore. They want freedom in their connections. And this is why spirit has somebody for you, even if no matter what the label is, spirit has somebody for you that it doesn't have to be suffering, who can meet you time and time again through every vulnerability door that you open. Yes, that person's there. Yes, that person's there. Yes, that person is there. Yes, oh my God, how are they still meeting me here? And it's reciprocal. It's not just one person feeling the depth. The other one is feeling it too. And that is a healthy soul connection. That means that you're meeting in the vulnerable places. Okay. Yeah. Someone may need to grow a little bit, but they eventually get there and you're seeing that the work that they put in, you're able to match it. With your twin flame, it's forever going in tandem, deep, deep, deep. It's never ending, never, ever ending. When you're ready for a twin flame connection, that means you're ready for mission. That means that you've almost basically completed your healing, okay? 
that's another thing. Twins, God does not bring twins together until they're ready to be, um, like, they're basically almost near complete their healing, okay? Um, I'm sorry, they just, just, I, I can't see, I, I see these people claiming, I know some people that claim that they're twin flames and they're living in such toxic situations, and, you know, I have, like, this one person that I know that her husband's still, like, shooting up drugs and doing all, oh, but he's just my twin, he's just going through a clearing. No, that's not a twin flame connection. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not. That's a karmic situation. Spirit would never put twins together with that amount of healing that still needs to be done. Twins only come together when they're ready to serve humanity. So remember that. And guys, it's a hard path. It's not, it's not an easy path. Your soul connections, a high soul connection, they're beautiful. They're amazing. Just realize that when you are getting into these connections, they can meet you at the place that you can be met or it's not worth your time um, to compromise yourself you know this is where we get hurt this is where we get suffering this is where we get attached into our old patterns and this is what makes it really difficult to leave okay so I'm going to leave it at that I don't know what I rambled on I don't know I just brought through whatever spirit was bringing through but I think I just wanted to bring through some clarity in regards to uh, love connections and different kinds of connections and you know twins are really from the inside out and um, yeah I guess just more or less what it is to discern and how to manifest the vibration that you're looking for in your path so follow those lists you guys um, and creating a vibrational list you know and pray about it sit with it start matching the vibrations in your life seeing where you actually need to heal so that you can become that match as well to that list that you are creating and that you become that vibrational match because that's going to bring in the person that that you desire and that's going to bring in the next person in your blueprint as well so I hope that helped. I, there was no real structure to this channel teaching, but I wanted to wing it, and that's what came through. So I will go create the thumbnail. I don't even know what kind of, what I'm going to put for it. But um, anyways, if you like that channel teaching and it helped you, please let me know what you got out of it. I would love to hear that. Spirit just wanted to channel. That was a, just right through, and um, I hope you liked it. I'm sending so much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.